Hi everybody, welcome back to Fox Fest this week. And I've got a little friend on my lap, so you might see Jyoti wandering through this story time. She decided she wanted to curl up with me while I read today. So today's story uh, is called Fox and His Friends. And this one, of course, is by Edward Marshall, and the pictures are by James Marshall. And these are all kinds of stories about Fox, of course, who's in the middle here. Do you remember who the pig is? That's Dexter. And then, oh, I was thinking that was Carmen, because Carmen's the frog, but that's not a frog. That's an alligator, that's Betty. Do you remember in Fox at school, somebody stuck gum on Betty's tail? So we're gonna see Betty in this book again. So this story is called Fox and His Friends, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. The first chapter, of course, we're gonna start off with Fox in trouble. What a surprise. <laughs> Fox, dear, said Fox's mom. Just where do you think you are going? Out to have fun with the gang, said Fox. It's Saturday. But today you must take care of little Louise, said mom. You're joking, said Fox. I am not joking, said mom. And she gave Fox a look. Come on, Louise, said Fox. Fox went to see his friend Dexter, but Dexter's mom came to the door. Sorry, Fox, she said. Dexter has to help at home all day. That's no fun, said Fox. Come on, Louise. Dexter watched from the window. Sorry, Fox, he said. Next, Fox went to Betty's house. Betty has the chicken pox, said her mom. Can she still play, asked Fox. Of course not, said Betty's mom. Poor Betty, said Fox. Come on, Louise. Okay, said Louise. Sorry, Fox, said Betty. You can't help it, said Fox. You see how Betty has little red spots all over her. You might not ever have chicken pox. They have a shot for chicken pox now that kids get. But when I was little, they didn't have that vaccine. And I had chicken pox when I was 10 and I had these little itchy red spots all over. You, you run a fever sometimes too and you have chicken pox and it is no fun. Fox went to the park and sat down on a bench. This is awful, he said. Today is Saturday, but there is no one to have fun with. No one at all. Here's Louise sitting up there with him. Fox thought long and hard. There's nothing to do here, he said. Come on, Louise. But Louise did not answer. She must be hiding, said Fox. And he looked around. But Louise was not there. This is serious, said Fox. Then he looked all over the park. Louise was gone. Oh dear, said Fox. This is very serious. Fox left the park. Mom will be really mad I have lost Louise. Do you see her in this picture? Here's her tail. Yoo-hoo, said a voice. Fox looked up. Oh my gosh, look where Louise is. She's on top of the telephone pole or the electric pole. I don't know which one, but yeah, look at that. It was Louise. Come down this minute, said Fox. Come and get me, said Louise. Come down right now, said Fox. No said Louise. All right, said Fox, I'm coming up. Do you remember about Fox and high places? Oh, he, he doesn't like high places, so I'm sure he's not gonna like this. Fox took a deep breath and climbed the telephone pole. I don't like high places, he said. Fox and Louise came down the telephone pole together. You are trouble said Fox. On the way home, Fox had a terrible thought. What if Louise tells, he said to himself, I will really get it. 
what would she tell mom that Fox wasn't watching out for her? I'm thinking that's what he's worried about. Fox bought Louise the biggest ice cream cone he could buy. You must not tell, he said. Maybe I will and maybe I won't, said Louise. Let's see what happens. What have you two been up to, asked mom. Fox held his breath. He's worried about what Louise is gonna say. We went to the park, said Louise. And, said mom. And Fox bought me an ice cream cone, said Louise. And, said mom. Then we came home, said Louise. How sweet, Fox, said mom. You're okay, Louise, said Fox. So she didn't tell after all, did she? I think she's a little bit like Fox. I think she's got a strong will. She'll stand up for herself and make things interesting for Fox. Now the next chapter is called Fox All Wet. I wonder how he's gonna get wet. Let's find out. When Fox got home from school, mom had a surprise for him. This afternoon, you must take care of Louise, she said. I can't. <laughs> You're joking, said Fox. I'm going swimming with my friends. You, then you will take Louise, said Mom. No, said Fox. I said no to my mother, I'd be in trouble. Mom gave Fox a serious look. You will take Louise, she said. Get your suit, Louise, said Fox. Okay, said Louise. At the pool, Fox met his friends, Dexter, Carmen, and Junior. Junior's the dog. Hi, said Fox. Who's the kid, asked Carmen. Don't mind her, said Fox. Last one in the pool is a monkey's uncle, said Dexter. And everyone ran for the pool. Soon everyone was having a lot of fun. This is wild, said Fox, and everyone agreed. Do you like to go swimming? I do. I like to go swimming when it's hot. Who will jump from the high board, said Dexter. Not I, said Carmen. Not I, said Junior. I don't like high places, said Fox. Where's the kid, asked Carmen. Uh-oh, said Fox. Where do you think Louise is? I think I know where she is. Look at her way up there. She likes to climb, doesn't she? How'd she get up there, asked Dexter. We weren't watching, said Carmen. Come down right now, said Fox. Come and get me, said Louise. You'll be sorry when I do, said Fox. Fox climbed up the ladder. I don't like this at all, he said. He felt his knees begin to shake. Don't look down, said Dexter. But when Fox got to the top, Louise was not there. Uh-oh, said Fox. He felt all funny inside. Go on and jump, said Dexter. The kid did it, said Carmen. I was wondering why Louise wasn't there. She obviously jumped off the high dive. Jump, said Junior and Louise. Everyone is watching, said Fox. We're waiting, said Dexter. It's now or never, said Fox. He closed his eyes and he jumped. Fox hit with a big splash. Hooray for Fox, everyone cried. What a fine jump. I did that from the high dive this many times. <laughs> I was so scared. I did it, but I swore I would never do it again. Do you like the high dive? Some people are not afraid of heights. This page is funny. Louise, said Fox, I want to speak with you alone. Uh-oh, said Louise. <laughs> she got in trouble? She, she probably did. And the last chapter is called Fox on Duty. This is a funny, funny story. Fox liked being on traffic patrol. His job was helping folks across the street. 
and he did it very well. Every day, Fox helped an old dog to cross. Thank you, Fox, said the old dog. I couldn't do it without you. One day, Fox's friends, Dexter and Carmen, stopped by his corner. What a dumb way to spend your time, said Dexter. We are going to the, we are going swimming at the beach, said Carmen. That sounds like fun, said Fox. Come with us, said Dexter. But I don't have a suit, said Fox. That's okay, said his friends. We won't look. So Fox put down his sign and went with his friends. At the beach, Fox and his friends had just as much fun as always. They rode the waves and they built castles in the sand. You ever been to the beach? I used to go to the beach when I was a kid and I loved it. I love to do all of these things. Dexter and Carmen went for hot dogs and Fox lay down in the sand. There's his shorts right there. Very soon, he was dreaming away. In his dream, Fox saw a corner, his corner, and the sidewalk was full of old dogs. Some of them could not see very well. Uh-oh. I can't understand it, said one dog. Fox is always on duty here. The traffic is so heavy today, said another. We will just have to cross the street alone, said the first old dog. There is nothing else to do. So all the old dogs stepped off the sidewalk. No, cried Fox, not that. And he woke right up. He did not wait for Carmen and Dexter. He left the beach in a flash. There was only one dog on the sidewalk and he was cross. That means he was angry. Where were you, he said. It won't happen again, said Fox. And he helped the old dog across the street. Thanks, said the dog. Any time, said Fox. And Fox, said the old dog. Yes, said Fox. Next time, said the dog. You should wear some clothes. Uh-oh, said Fox. He, he was in such a hurry to go help the dog. He, he felt so bad about leaving his post. See, when he ran off from the beach, he left his shorts right there. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I love these Fox books, and I love sharing them with you during Fox Fest week. So until tomorrow when I read another one, have a great day, Colin and Dylan and A.B. and Sammy. Penny and Faith and Xavier and Kobe and Eli and Lily. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.